Uh, so let me talk with you a little bit about um, some work I have done. Let's start first with the Americans with Disabilities Act. I was working as a Kennedy Foundation public policy fellow in 1987, 1988 uh, in Washington, D.C. My assignment was to work with the Select Subcommittee on Disability. It was known then as the Subcommittee on the Handicapped. The chairperson was Senator Tom Harkin, a Democrat from Iowa. He had picked up an initiative started several years before 1787 uh, by Senator Lowell Weicker, a uh, Republican from Connecticut. And the effort was to create a Civil Rights Act for persons with disabilities, a comprehensive Civil Rights Act such as protected African American and other minority uh, citizens and another one protecting women. It's interesting that both Weicker and Harkin uh, were people I call passionate insiders. Senator Weicker had a son with a disability. Senator Harkin had a brother who had a disability. So here were these two passionate insiders with a great deal of influence uh, asking Bobby Silverstein, the ch chairperson of that committee, uh, and then asking me to do some work. And the work I did was essentially around research on employment discrimination. Um, I, I can't say that it was uh, as thorough as I wanted to be, but it laid out the issues about pre-employment inquiries, post-employment inquiries, uh, reasonable accommodations, protection in the job, movement forward in the job, protection from discrimination and uh, being released from a job. Those were the general areas. Uh, that was in 1987-1988. The President, George Herbert Walker Bush, signed ADA in 1990. It was an interesting story there. Why did he favor the bill so much? It was that he had an uncle who himself had a disability. And young George Herbert Walker Bush used to carry his uncle, George Herbert Walker, over the threshold of their home in Greenwich, Connecticut. So here you have then three, this is a lesson that I learned, a lesson I want to leave with you, three passionate insiders, Senator Weicker, Senator Harkin, President Bush. The president signed the bill uh, in 1990. Five years later, 1995, I was on vacation in Mexico, and I had a message at my hotel. Telefone Casa La Blanca, Washington, D.C., area code 202, whatever. I didn't know what Casa Blanca meant. I kind of stopped and thought for a second and said, good Lord, it means White House. Well, what had happened is that President Clinton decided to have a fifth anniversary celebration of the signing of ADA, and he invited my wife, Anne, and me to participate on a panel of about 10 representatives of the developmental disabilities and other communities. It was interesting. When I had a chance to speak with the president, with Attorney General Janet Reno, and with Treasury Secretary Rubin, this is what I said. <clears throat> And this is really what motivated a lot of my work, not just around ADA, but everything. I said this, when my son Jay Turnbull was born at Johns Hopkins Hospital, he obviously had a disability, megacephaly. The doctor said institutionalized him, I did for a while, and then Mary Ann, we brought Jay back home. He was discriminated in school. He was discriminated in work. And finally, we found a way to get him through school and to get him to work. Now, Mr. President, Attorney General Reno and Secretary Rubin, Jay Turnbull is paying your salary because he is working full time as a clerical aide at the University of Kansas, whereupon Bill Clinton, always one for something explosive, says, yes. And it was kind of interesting why in the world would I have been in involved in an ADA celebration representing the community of persons with intellectual disabilities. 